Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures and well a little bit of a delay we had technical issues uh, whilst trying to film the other day so we've been delayed in getting this video out so hopefully by the end of today you'll see our new video for this week and well I've been out and about and uh, getting some bargains which is always a good sign this time of year some uh, lovely pots and this tray with actually 12 pots in it which is going to be very very useful when potting on later on uh, bargains had all round actually well I hope you're sitting comfortably if I get my teeth working and uh, well I'm just enjoying the sunshine stood here actually. it's really really nice it's been a very very frosty hard morning here on the allotment difficult to do the jobs that you need to start doing well I do anyway clearing the patch because everything's still frozen solid however my potatoes in the greenhouse are slowly starting to put shoots out how exciting so sit back relax and enjoy today's show Well, here I am next to my uh, leeks and onions in here. There's a combination. And, uh, well, they've been covered with the fleece. I've just shoved it over here for the moment. And uh, they've started to uh, chub up a bit and uh, thicken out, which is rather lovely. And this sunshine will really, really help. And, uh, well, that's hopefully now in the next few weeks and months we'll get more daylight and become a lot, lot warmer. We've had a lot of frosts in the last week here. However, I can't complain. I've had a lovely photograph from Carol in Canada and, uh, well, you say, look at the skyline above her compost heaps and, uh, well, you're covered in snow. Uh, it is your winter there and, uh, well, it's the least of our worries here, thank heavens. But, uh, well, you're still battling on, Carol, so thank you for that photograph. Now, in my hand here, I have some potatoes. As you know, what we've talked in the previous um, show about the other potatoes I'm chitting. I've got Albert Rooster Vivaldi and they're coming nicely. They've started to open up. And Willia is the other variety that I'm growing. And they're a pure white potato. Now, when I was at my garden centre the other day, they've started getting all their seed potatoes out. And a lot of them actually come from Scotland. I don't know why. It's amazing, isn't it? And uh, well, this variety in here I've got are from a Scottish producer. And they produce loads and loads of seed potatoes. All different varieties. And, uh, well, I've been looking for something unusual. Because as like last year, I grew my purple sprouts. Even though I wasn't very successful, really. Not as successful as I've been with my normal sprouts. Um, but hopefully things will change this year. And, uh, well, I've gone for a variety of potato called Salad Blue. Now, this may seem strange. Why would it be called a Salad Blue when it's potato? Because it's not a new potato. These are proper potatoes. And, uh, well, when you cut them in half, they are actually blue. And I think I've got a photograph here. Fingers crossed I have. So here we are. And uh, yes, I could get blue mashed potato later in the year. Isn't that incredible? Blue chips, blue mashed potato, blue, blue roast potatoes. Because these are a variety that can be used in any way of cooking that you can think about for a potato. I don't know how big they'll get jacket potato wise, but well, maybe you could have a couple. But I've got a, a huge variety of sizes actually inside here. So it will be interesting to see which size bowl, which, excuse me while I rummage around, uh, is going to do best. I mean, they're, they're quite nice. I've got a, quite a large one down here. And already this one started to chit. And it's funny because it has a purple hue to the little stem that's coming out of it. So isn't that going to be interesting? And you just do these the same as the other potatoes uh, and uh, pop them in the ground and they'll grow. But these are going to go, as I say, into my greenhouse and we're going to start chitting those. So isn't that rather wonderful? I pop those back in there. Now that bag there, and I think let me have a look in here. Uh, one, two. There's about ten potatoes in there. They cost two pound twenty-five, and I could have had a mixture. They've got about twenty different potato varieties, and they've got these little bags. And actually, I've got a, bit of a gap in here. I could have probably popped a few more in, and that would have been even more bargains. And I suppose I could have got small potatoes and got more inside there as well. But for £2.25, I didn't think that was bad, really, to have an experiment. Blue potatoes. Isn't that fascinating? Well, uh, I've uh, been given some insulation. Well, it's not insulation. It's come off somebody's washing machine, I think, that they had delivered recently. And they asked me if I wanted it. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to make some insulation boxes. So I've got two of these. 
so I'm going to cut them off. In fact, I've got three of these, shall I say. So I'm going to cut them in half and then uh, fasten them together and, and make my own insulation box. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to start some uh, lovely vegetables and seedlings off in there over the next few weeks. My poor watering can. Uh, it's got a crack right down here. Uh, they didn't like the winter very much and uh, so that means i'll have to either buy some uh, waterproof glue or tape or purchase a new one of these uh, it's amazing what the winter time can do isn't it well as i say i'm slow progressing on the allotment at the moment but darren and wakefield have sent me some amazing photographs you have completely manured your plot and uh, we have to remember you only got your plot last year and you're really coming on leaps and bounds with what's happening on there which is brilliant You've got your manure on there, and that's took some really hard work, I know, because you've got to get it to your plot. It's like mine here. I've got to get it here first, and that's the hard, hard part of it. Once it's down in there, all those lovely nutrients will be dragged into the soil by the worms, which is stunning. Uh, I may be squinting a bit because the sun, stupidly, I've decided to have the sun right in front of me while filming, although I've got my flag fluttering, so maybe I'm in and out of uh, the sunshine. Uh, so, Darren, yes, fantastic. And also... You've laid the foundations for your greenhouse and uh, i love it you've, you've used uh, decking boards as your frame and you filled that with concrete or uh, uh, so just a brilliant brilliant job and that of course is a level so your greenhouse will be absolutely fantastic you've fastened that down to that and uh, it will be well i can't wait to see your greenhouse up they don't take very long you know to put up it's interesting they're all bits and pieces aren't they uh, but there's only about i don't know let's look at this one be about 100 pieces altogether and actually once you get going they really do go together with ease and uh, so good up with that congratulations once again on all the things you're starting to grow and i know of course your um your lovely vegetables are coming through the ground already and you've got rhubarb coming it's coming up which is fantastic and um, i've been donated some rhubarb i've not yet gone to get it i need to go and get it and it's actually established so what i'm going to do is we'll go cut straight through there establish rhubarb crown and we'll get that up and we'll get that in and i'll split it again and we'll find something really nice for the rhubarb to grow isn't it lovely when you're given and donated things i really really do enjoy that so um well that's exciting times ahead uh, my cabbage is doing okay i think it now needs to um well have some more feed and some more uh, water in in there and, and they'll, they'll start shooting up now the weather's starting to change well once again thank you very much for watching jeremy's yorkshire allotment adventures it's great to have you on board thank you once again for your photos thank you for your lovely comments that i'm getting after each show and uh, welcome on board to all the new uh, viewers that have started to join us here on our journey through 2023 so do let me know what you're doing uh, you can i think i do have an email address but I'm, i must look it up i'm having rubbish at this i think it's jez grows at something dot com anyway i'll find out let's not do that now uh, i might put a little tag on the bottom of me speaking and then you can send any photographs to that but also you can attach them to the messages on the youtube channel once again as i say thank you very much for watching Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Oh my good hands, I might take my hat off in a minute because the sun is really, really lovely and warm and that is what we need now and forever in the next few weeks. Ta-da for now.